can go on more than the 10 minute uh, interim. Overtime in the postseason, the NFL. We will continue playing until we have a winner. Both teams are going to have a possession unless the first team on offense scores a touchdown or we have a defensive score. The timing will be as after we start a brand new ball game. Each team are going to have three timeouts per half. Good? Good? Okay. Good point. So the head, helmet side is heads, the T side is tails, helmet is heads, T side is tails. New England again, you're the visiting team. It's your choice. Heads. Heads. Heads is the call. It is heads. You want the ball. Oh. <laughs> Matthew Slater makes that very clear. We want the ball. They might be capable of running away with it tonight, only to see the Chiefs come out and quickly change the tide. Well, that game is over. This is a whole new game right now. The adjustments have taken place. You've seen what the opponent has done successfully throughout the game. Now, right here, I'd do the same thing. They're putting the big guys in. They're trying to stop the run on the first play. Going to be a pass play. Pass caught. Shoved out by Fuller. That's Hogan with the grab. Brady got hit again, pushed in the pocket, but this is, I mean, this is Tom Brady. This is the guy. It's like your season's on the line, right? Let's, let's make sure he's getting two throws every three downs. If you got to get first downs, we're going to give him two of the three. I always, it's like, I understand I want to throw, run the ball. But your best player, Tom Brady, needs that at least two out of three on each down and distance or each four downs that they have to cover. Again, signaling he's changing out of the original call and giving it to Burkhead who's met at the line for no gain. Maybe a yard. And I think if they get that ball back, there's a good chance that Kansas City's going to go score. Coming after him. Got away from the pressure. And incomplete. That was Justin Houston, who was around Brady. <laughs> and Brady feels that he's got to step up on Houston and does a good job, but there's no separation anywhere. Nobody's getting open. Brady's literally trying to go through four guys, and over and over again, it's really hard to find someone creating a lot of separation. Well, That's why go. I keep saying, Gronk's got to get out wide, and you got to throw it to him out there. Third and nine, Tony. Well, they got to block the front. If Gronk's not outside, you got to chip with him, chip with him, and throw to Edelman over the middle of the field. Pass down the middle. Caught! Edelman holds on. He got whacked a couple of times and was completely unflappable with it. Just takes the hits and holds on for the big gain of 20. Well, and there was, with the motion, they got a stack release, and Edelman gets free, so he gets five yards of separation. Take to Burkett. Down the sideline they go. And that was Nelson trying to jump in front of Dorsett. Incomplete. All day they're getting their hands on him a little bit. Let's see if Nelson, when he cuts out of the break, eh, there's nothing there. But you see, that's where, that right there is where Brady's missing. That was a perfect throw. Off his back foot, off a play fake. And really, they don't have that guy who can make that catch outside the numbers right now. And that's, it's amazing they're where they're at right now without having that. Second and 10. Pass dropped. Patterson couldn't catch it. And again, Nelson was defending. Now third and ten. Patterson runs a simple slant. Just takes it at one step, though. Needs to go up the field just a little bit. One more step. Brady's got to throw it a hair earlier than you're used to on a slant. And Brady's upset because he knows he's like, the running back's got to help, so he has time to throw. Once again, Edelman in the middle of the field. Pocket sealed. Down the middle. Edelman again with a third down catch. Twice on this drive. This time for 15. The motion gets Edelman going in the middle, and Brady waits for him. The problem is the Chiefs, on every big down, are running this two-man. He can do anything right here. And a touchdown would win the game. First down from the 30. Uh-oh, toss back. Brady looking down the field, looking to the end zone, and it's not there. Hogan 
It's right here. You're going to see this up here. And he's going to read the middle of the field. They're trying to pretend like they're blocking, and then they go. And Brady does a great job not throwing it to. Second and 10, already in field goal range, but looking for more, looking for a game ender. Brady's pass, incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of Cordero Patterson. I mean, Brady threw this ball perfectly. Patterson comes out of his break, and that ball's on his face mask, but he can't create separation as Nelson's. Gronk is out wide. Watch the top of your screen. Watch this safety. If he comes down, there's a good chance he's throwing out there. It's Gronk for the first down. Gronk cut inside on the slant and gets it down to the 15. Got halfway home. Now they're starting. You see a. All of a sudden, Barry jumped outside and played the fade. He wasn't going to let him run down the sideline again. That means he's killing the play. He's going to the second. Three long third down conversions. To bring it first down from the 15. Burkhead just five yards away. Devlin throwing a big block on the inside. But you're tired. You've been on this field a long time today. Can you muster up enough? They put everyone in there. Here's the handoff to Burkhead. And he fights down inside the two. New England tried to play action earlier. I can't see it here. This has to be a run. Second and goal to Burkhead. Burkhead to the end zone. Hello, Super Bowl. New England is heading back again for the third straight year. <laughs> Mahomes never saw the football in overtime. Never saw it, and that was why the coin flip was so key. You got these two quarterbacks, these two offenses, and Tom Brady with three monster third down. Two of them to Edelman, one to Gronkowski. All of them were third and eight plus. And this, tell them they're not quite that safe team. And they're going back again. Burkhead able to drive across against a fatigued defense. You're in overtime. It's a long drive. It's a touchdown, and that's. The home teams had won the last 10 championship games between the AFC and the NFC before today. And now the Saints and the Chiefs, both the one seeds, both at home, both losing overtime. And now the Patriots and the Rams will be meeting in Atlanta. Here's to the day from Super Bowl 36 when the Patriots and the St. Louis Rams met down in New Orleans. The first Super Bowl win for the Belichick Brady dynasty it's unbelievable and they had to come in here and honestly give belichick the plan in the first half it really did shut down this kansas city offense then they figured him out and they came out storming and then it was on brady late in this game edelman with some big time catches and those two guys they respect each other those are two great coaches andy reed has to wait another year gronkowski had a big game his biggest maybe of the whole year i think this was the best he's played you know, in the passing game, everyone says, I mean, he came up with the biggest plays at the biggest times, and he's blocked incredibly at a high level in the last month of this season and for really much.